Welcome to RadicalWellnessTV.com. This is Laura Lee. I am here um, to help you be proactive in your own health care, naturally and at home on a daily basis, so things don't catch up to you. So I'm teaching you today about parasites, worms, and flukes. So flukes are flat worms that have two ventral suckers that allow them to attach to their hosts. There are many species of flukes, but they are grouped into four types. Liver flukes, blood flukes, lung flukes, and intestinal flukes. Flukes include the genera Fasciola, Paragonomnus, Petrophilusi, Cisitomusi, Metamulusi, and Dicticololium. That's Greek to me, <clears throat> or Latin. With this many different types of organisms, there is a variety of ways to acquire the infection. Humans usually become infected through eating raw or undercooked fish or crab, eating infected vegetation like water chestnuts, caltop, watercress, or drinking or wading in affected water. Once inside the body, the worms migrate to different areas causing inflammation and damage along the way. They may end up in various organs including the lungs, heart, intestines, the brain, urinary, bladder, liver, and blood vessels. The worms release many eggs which eventually work their way into either the digestive or urinary tract and are passed out. The eggs may cause extensive damage as they pass through the body. Each egg has tiny spines on the outside that can cause great damage. The worms also release toxins, metabolics, that may also damage the host's tissues. Liver flukes. Liver flukes are tiny flat worms which undermine the health of the liver. They make holes throughout the liver. Jaundice, swelling of the liver, general positioning conditioning, condition, or pain in the right side are all symptoms which should be checked for liver flukes disturbance. Lung flukes. Lung flukes are tiny flat worms which undermine the health of the lungs and perforate its tissues. Oxygen starvation of the entire blood can be caused by lung flukes. The weakened lungs easily attract other illnesses such as repeated flu, ammonia, and fungi infections. Blood flukes. Blood flukes are tiny flat worms which undermine the health of the blood. They have a hook with which they hook to the blood cells. Blood flukes cause adults to have blood clots. In turn, the heart suffers, and they may eventually affect the bone marrow. They also cause unhealthy sleeping habits. Certain species may also release a proteolithic enzyme that destroys the globin in the blood. Blood flukes are also known to take up certain amino acids, especially arginine, from the host's blood causing a protein imbalance. So that is parasites, worms, and flukes. So I hope you learned something and really cleanse your body out. Cleanse and nourish. That's what natural healing is all about because we like to love life and life loves us back. So be healthy and that really helps a lot. See you in the next video. Please make a comment. Bye-bye for now.